This is how it's all about the pump. It's working normally now. This is the power supply, which is between the row of solar panels. This is our controlling part, solar MPPD controller. On this controller, we have two lights like this. They are green, which means that our pump is working normally. Now let's see the drawing in this laptop. This is solar panels. This is controller. This is borehole, pump. This is tank. Usually, we recommend our clients to install the water level sensors in both tank and borehole just like this. But in some occasions, people will not install the water level sensors in the tank. Maybe they have no tank at all. Maybe they don't just install their water level sensors in the borehole as well. But don't worry, what you can do is to bridge C and H and the pump can work normally as well. On this occasion, there is no protection for the pump under the water level sensors. But don't worry, we still have dry run protection in our controller. Now let me show you what is dry run protection. Now we take the pump outside of water. Put a bit more attention. There is 10 second delay. Now let's see the controller. See the indicator is on now. It's protecting our pump. See the general explanation right here. Our controller is detecting the water levels in the borehole every five minutes. If the water level is low, it will not start our pump. If the water level is high right now, which means there is enough water in the borehole, it will start our pump automatically. See, our controller is detecting. Now we need to wait until the pump stops, starts.